so for today, I'm freaking clearly pumped about this video. So I went a little bit um, crazy and I decided to film something a little bit different for you guys. Now, I always know that I'm, I always say that I'm not a Halloween person, but clearly I can come out to play. So what I figured I would do is do this with like a little bit of a Disney twist so that it, it can be kid friendly. So disclaimer, we did use alcohol, but if you want to play this with your kids, just use some sparkling water and grenadine and you will be totally fine. Now, what we did is we made a slew of different Halloween cocktails. I will provide all the recipes for you guys. I did not create these. I added a little bit to them to make them a little bit more cool and a couple of accessories from Michaels and stuff like that. But I have all the recipes. I got them from Pinterest and you know, worst case scenario, I would just use a ton of food coloring and they'll look super cool. So what we did is we made, we have a Shirley Temple that we made. So you could make this kid friendly or virgin friendly. And we used a little syringe with grenadine in there. I added some orange vodka. We have Halloween margaritas with the black, I'm gonna try not to light myself on fire, with the black salt rimmer, which is so cool. And I just got that off of Amazon. Um, the skull, we did like a green type of punch. I have cool names for everything. And then the rimmer, same thing. And then we got like the gummies coming out of it. And then this one here is like a float, like a bloody float martini. So there's actually ice cream slash gelato in there, like a cherry cheesecake ice cream. And we've got the eyeballs floating in there. And then these ones are like the poison martinis. So super cool. Um, this is, oh, and I forgot one, one drink, Andre's favorite drink, which was so perfect. So you guys will see how we smoked this. So you need a dome like this to do it and you need, you need the Breville smoking gun. So you can get this off of Amazon and you put the little wood chips inside and it'll make like this cool smoking look whenever you serve it, but it'll also taste delicious. So this is Andre's drink of choice, smoked Negroni, and that's all the cocktails we made. So one, two, three, four, five, six different types of drinks. Now here's the punchline. I'm gonna ask Andre and see if he wants to, to play a drinking game with me. Now, this can still be kid friendly and I don't want you guys to freak out. You could totally play this game with like fruit punch. It doesn't need to be alcohol, but I think it would be hilarious if we play it with drinks. So Andre's probably gonna drink his Negroni and I'll pick one of the above. I'll probably do the Shirley Temple or something. And I found this hilarious Hocus Pocus drinking game. So follow us to the living room. I'm gonna share the entire thing with you guys. And if this is something that you guys wanna see, then obviously just keep watching. All right, so we are in our living room and I am yet to ask Andre if he wants to do this, but hopefully he says yes. So side note, I just discovered like the greatest playlist ever and this is what I've been listening to in our house. So it is on Spotify. There's one on Apple Music as well. So it's Disney Halloween. It's so good. Now we're gonna put on Hocus Pocus. We bought it. I don't think it's on Netflix as far as I know. And so I found, I made a full Pinterest board for this month, by the way. So this is where I found all the drinks. I'm not gonna take credit for it. I'll put them all down below and I'll share the recipes throughout this video, but I'm gonna pull up my Pinterest board. And by the way, if you guys aren't following along on Instagram, I shared all the behind the scenes of the drink making on Instagram. All right. Now there's a couple Hocus Pocus drinking games, but I think this one is hilarious. Okay, so let's see if Andre wants to play. And by the way, Carl's like, Carl, what you doing? Can you guys see him back there in the love sack? <laughs> All right, babe, mm -hmm. do, you yes. wanna, do you wanna play a game with me? Sure. Okay, come. Do you know the movie Hocus Pocus? I do. <laughs> Here, you can sit on this side. Oh, do you guys like that? My pillow. Do you like my pillow? That's very nice, yeah. Okay, you guys, if you've never met my husband, this is Andre. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're gonna play a Hocus Pocus drinking game while we have dinner. Oh my God. So Andre and I are ordering Uber Eats. We're getting like a bunch of cheese and meats and stuff for, like that for dinner. That's what you ordered, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus during dinner and have our drinks and you're gonna have your Negroni that I made you. Okay. So this is how it works. There's three categories. There's sip, gulp, and shot. So for take a sip, every time that the Sanderson sisters inhale or smell deeply. Does this mean anything to you? Absolutely nothing. Okay, no. I'll tell, you'll, be, you'll understand. Cool. Every time that Thackeray Binks says something sarcastic, every time that Sarah Sanderson gets flirty, every time that the sisters are afraid or perplexed due to a modern day invention, and the last one for take a sip, every time that Binks mentions Emily. Okay, second category, take a gulp. So I guess that just means like a gulp. Um, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I don't know, like a more hefty, more hefty than a right, sip. Right, right, right. Let's see. 
take a gulp. Every time that the spell book opens its eye, every time that Billy Butcherson loses a limb, every time that Max is referred to as Hollywood, every time that Winifred Sanderson calls her book, and whenever the sisters recite or cast a spell. Okay, so now the third category, take a shot. Not that we do shots, but I guess mm -hmm. it'll just be like more than a gulp. Yeah, we're not 19 anymore. We'll do our best. Okay, okay. take a shot. Every time that yabos are mentioned, every time that someone makes a salt circle, every time that Mary rides a vacuum instead of a broom, and every time that someone says hocus pocus, and then the last one, every time that there is a sentimental sibling moment. I think that those things only happen once. Okay, so I have a couple questions. How are we supposed to keep track of all these? Like, I got you. You got me? Yeah, like okay. you, when it happens in the movie, you know. Okay. And second question, do we have to pause the movie every time something like that no. happens and take a drink? No. Okay, cool. So this is going to be like a four hour long movie if we no. do that. No, no. I okay. think it's going to work out. All right. All right we're going to take you guys with us. Um, you guys will see what we're having for dinner, what we're drinking and all of that stuff. And you guys will basically come and hang out with us and Carl in our living room and watch Hocus Pocus with us. So enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye dudes.